Hey guys, what's up? Today, let's design a minimal, clean and professional looking title animation in After Effects without using any third party plugins. This tutorial is purely for people who are just getting started with After Effects. Very new, very fresh. I'm Nikhil from Dope Motions and without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition just like we always do. I'm going to call this title 1920 by 1080 60 FPS 10 seconds. Hit OK. And let's hit Control K to bring up the project setting. I'm going to keep the background color white. You can also add a solid, but you know, you can do it this way as well if you want to. Then let's select the text tool. And I'm going to type in something like animation. You can, of course, type anything that you want. And for the font, I'm going to go with a lobster to regular font. I'll provide the links to download this font. The links will be in the description to download this font. So you can, you know, use the same exact font if you want to. And let's increase the size really high. Set this to zero. And maybe I'll keep it around 130. Okay, that looks perfect. Align it into the center. If you don't see this align tab, you can go into window and there you will find it. Then I'm going to add a transform effect to this. Now, if you don't have this free script to pop up the menu, you can use the effects and preset as well. So yeah, that's that. And for the skew, I'm going to set this to maybe let's go with minus six. Yep, that looks very nice now let's start animating this so let's go to maybe around one second and 30 frames select the layer hit p to bring down the position properties create a keyframe go back to around 15 frames and i'm going to also turn on the title action save from right over here and then i can just drag it out just like so so we have this very simple animation and then what I can do is select the pen tool. We don't need any stroke. We just need the fill. And then create a shape just like so. You know, something like that. Just move the shape to the center. Something like that looks good. And I'm, I'm, I can just select the pen tool and then select the points holding shift and then drag them just so it cover up the complete composition. And then I can just rename this to matte as this is gonna be a track matte for the text and let's change the track matte to alpha inverted matte. And now we have something like this, pretty simple. Then I can select both the layers, hit control D to duplicate it. And then change the track matte of the second text to alpha matte. Then let's select this, hit U so we can see all the keyframes. Go right over here. Let's create a new keyframe. Go to 15 frames and then drag it. Oh, then drag it holding shift. Just like so. And now we have something like this, which looks pretty nice. Then I can select, select all the layers, hit U so we can see the keyframes. Select the keyframes and hit F9 to ease, ease those keyframes. Then go into the graph editor. Now, if your graph editor doesn't look like this, make sure you right click into the graph editor and you're working in the edit speed graph and not in the edit value graph. Then I can set the time indicator at the center and then try to create a peak. So I can just drag the handles holding shift at the same time. And then we have a pretty nice animation as you can see. So this is looking very nice, but I think I'm going to select the layers, select the keyframes, hit F9, and then let's try this animation. Uh, yes, I think this looks much better. So it starts up fast and then settles down slowly. Yeah, this looks perfect to me. Then I can select all the layers and change the color of the layers to a different color so we can separate them properly just to visualize it. So we have a pretty simple animation that is looking good. 
Now let's go into this and select the polygon tool. I'm going to create a polygon just like that pretty randomly. And let's place it into the center. Then go into the polystar, polystar path and change this to six points. Also set the rotation to zero. And we don't need any fill for this. So I can set the, oh, I can select this and set the fill to none. We just need the stroke of around 10 pixels. Okay. Make sure it's aligned into the center just like that. Looks pretty good. Maybe I'll set the outer radius to 300. Or maybe a bit more somewhere around here. Let's go with actually 250. All right. And then I can add a trim part to this. Go into trim parts. Go at the very beginning. Or maybe let's go to 15 frames. No, actually let's go at the very beginning. And set the end and the start property, both the properties to 50. So I'm going to set this to 50. Create a keyframe on both of them. Go to around maybe somewhere around there. Or uh, let's go to 30 frames, I think. That looks good. And set the end property to 100. And set the start property to 0. All right, so we have a pretty simple animation. Now what I'm going to do is let's say I'll go right over here. Maybe somewhere around there. So let's actually delete this keyframes. Or we, what we can do is actually let's go somewhere around maybe when it's at 80 or something. Okay, 80 and 20. Create two keyframes then select and delete the older keyframes so now we have something like that then what i can do is offset this a bit so we get something like this and then set this to let's go with i guess 70 should work good and let's see i think i'll go maybe set this to 30 and then try to offset try to get a really nice um you know shape for this I think this looks good. Let's see how it looks onto the text. Yep, that looks pretty nice to me. I'm going to select this, hit U two times so we can reveal all the properties. And maybe I'll just tweak this a bit, maybe something like so. Yep, that looks absolutely perfect to me. And now what I can do is we have this very simple animation, right? Let's go and drag the keyframes to 45 frames. Then from 15, I want some position animation on this as well. So what I can do is actually let's go right over here at one second and 30 frames, select the layer, hit P to bring down the position keyframes, position property, create a keyframe, go back to let's say maybe one second and 15 frames and bring this a bit closer. So we have a simple animation as well. Then I can select the layer, hit U, so we can see all the keyframes. Let's select all the keyframes, hit F9, go into the graph editor, select all the points and drag it holding shift. So now we have something like this, as you can see, very nice and snappy. I think I'm gonna go right here, select it and maybe bring the position a bit up. Yeah, that is looking much better as you can see. All right, so this is looking good. Let's select this and hit Control Shift, Control Shift C to precompose the layer. And I'm going to call this line. Hit OK. Hit Control D to duplicate it. R to bring down the rotation properties. And then I can rotate it by 180 degrees. So I just type in 180 and now we have something like this we have this really interesting shape i think it's a bit too close to each other so what i can do is go into the comp hit u so we can see all the keyframes go right over here and maybe i'll just oh, hold shift and bring this down a bit okay that is looking good let's go back Yep, as you can see, this is looking very nice. Yep. There we go. 
let's add some more text so i'm going to select the text tool and type in smooth you can of course again type in anything that you want and for this font i'm going to go with a nice gotham maybe a gotham let's go with a gotham maybe bold and make this very small just like so around 35 pixels increase the kerning a bit okay i think i'm gonna make it a bit small so I, i'll go with 30 pixels yeah that is looking good and now what i can do is go to one second let's actually go to one second 30 frames select the text hit p to bring down the position properties create a keyframe go back to one second and 30 frames and drag this out just like so so we have something like this all right let's select all the layers and hit f9 select all let's select let's actually select all the keyframes and hit f9 to easy ease those keyframes go into the graph editor and the same exact process i'm going to drag it holding shift so we have something like that which looks pretty nice all right so here we have a very simple animation let's go ahead and add our third text as well so let's select the smooth text hit control d to duplicate it and i'm gonna call this design then hit p to bring down the position properties get rid of the keyframes and drag it holding shift just like so maybe a bit up okay that looks good go to one second and 30 frames create a keyframe on the position go back to 30 frames i guess and let's drag it out of the shape just like that and then select the layers hit f9 go into the graph editor and then tweak it just like so so we have a pretty simple but cool looking animation now the animation is completed but one thing with that we need to do is to fix this text i don't want this text to be visible before it enters this lines or cross this lines so what i can do is i can create a track mat for them so now what i can do is let's go into the line comp select the layer or the line layer yep yeah, that is what it is let's see if it's in the center yep that is good hit control c control v to paste it and this is going to be our reference i'm going to call this ref and also i can just change the color just so we can know it's a reference layer and what i can do is go into contents polystar and delete the trim parts so we have a complete shape just like that and then we don't need any stroke i'm going to set this to a really nice gray fill hit ok and now this is going to act as a track mat for our text so now i can select the design text and change the track mat option to alpha mat and now as you can see we get this really nice track mat or mask for our text same i'm gonna do with this text as well so what i can do is let's actually make it visible for the moment hit control d to duplicate it control shift c to pre-compose it call this ref ref and now we have the same animation on it so i can just go right here and rotate it by 180 degrees then just hide that then select the smooth text bring this on the top and change this to alpha mat and bam there we have a very nice animation now the last thing that i want to add is some shapes bursting up or the lines coming out from left and right so it's pretty simple i can select the pen tool set the stroke to around maybe let's go with eight pixels make this a really nice gray color just like we have for the text we don't need any fill for this i'm gonna set this to none and also make sure to turn on the title action safe then i can just hold shift and create a stroke just like that then go and add a trim part to this where is trim part there we go and now we can animate this just like so so let's set this to zero i want this to start animating right here click on the 
stopwatch to create a keyframe go right over here and let's set this to 100 pretty simple as you can see i think the stroke is a bit too big so i can just make this a bit smaller just like so and also make this one small okay so we have something like this let's select it hit f9 to easy ease it and the same animation just like we did before there we go as you can see i can tweak this as well yep that is looking good now what i can do is let's go somewhere around there create a keyframe on the start property go right here and set this to 100 actually we need to now select all the keyframes hit f9 go into graph editor and now i need to actually tweak it just like so so now we have something like this as you can see i think it's a bit too late i can just drag it right here let's see maybe a bit more actually we can drag this a bit more yeah this is looking perfect to me so you can see looking pretty good now let's select this hit ctrl d to duplicate it and rotate it by 180 degrees and then select it and drag it holding shift just like so so now we have this very nice and minimal title animation but now there is an issue if i just zoom in a bit you can see it's not perfect we can see that white pixel so to fix this you can select any of the matte layer and just tweak it using the arrow keys just drag it to the left and that should fix it and drag this one to the right and bam there we have a perfect animation of the title so yeah it's pretty simple but looks very nice and interesting so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and a pretty quick update i'm shifting to a new office i'm changing my pc i'm changing my complete setup and i thought that i'll vlog every process that i go through like the shifting the assembly of the new computer and many other different stuff so if you guys are interested in something like that then do check out my vlogging channel life looks like i'll mention the link down in the description and yeah with that said i'll see you guys in the next video till then take care thank you so much for watching and don't forget to stay raw stay creative